All right, hi, and welcome back to our Power BI Custom Visuals course. In this next module, we're going to be looking at the chord diagram, which is also known as the radial network diagram. A chord diagram gets its name from terminology and geometry. A chord is basically a part of a circle. It's a geometrical line of segments between two endpoints on a circle, and that's kind of what you're seeing here in the visual on the right-hand side. Basically, the chord diagram shows direct relationships that you have between two different categorical data or entities that you have inside of a data set. And the data is arranged around the circle with the relationships between the two endpoints typically drawn with some kind of arch connecting the, the data together. And that's what you're seeing here in this section. So it's designed to show relationships. You'll see that the colors are actually significant, which colors end up on which side of the circle is significant. We'll talk more about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use it and download it. This one's going to be published by Microsoft, but let's now go ahead and take a look at how we can download and import the chord diagram. All right, so your first step is going to be to go download the chord diagram. You'll do that by going to the visuals, custom visuals gallery at uh, visuals.powerbi.com. That's what I'm looking at on my screen here. Uh, you'll go and scroll down towards the bottom, at least that's where it's at for the time being, and you'll select the chord diagram here and select to download that visual and then save it somewhere where you can find it later for the purposes of our demonstration here. You can also download some of the samples that Microsoft has provided. We're going to go ahead and show you how to use this guy. So I'm going to go back over to the Power BI desktop. And for this scenario, what we're going to be looking at is a data set that shows cell phone users and how they are frequently swapping brands. So maybe today you have an iPhone, maybe two years ago you had a Samsung device. And so, you know, people switch devices a lot, usually every two years or maybe even a little bit longer than that, depending on how frequently you switch, switch contracts and things like that. And oftentimes you'll switch cell phone brands in addition to providers. We're going to be looking just at the cell phone brand itself and see what the relationship is when someone moves from one brand to another, what are they most often moving back and forth between. So to get started, let's go ahead and get some data that we'll be needing for this solution. And this data set you'll find at the bottom of this, there's a link where you can download this at the bottom of this video. And I'll go ahead and select that I want to go get data from an Excel workbook. All of our data is typically from an Excel workbook in this class because it's easy for us. So I'll go ahead and select Excel. And then I'm going to go find the data that's part of our Power BI class files, which is going to be called, in this case, cell phone swapping. Cell phone swapping is going to have the data that's going to show when someone moves from one brand of phone to another brand. I'll select Open. And that'll launch open the query editor, or at least get me to the navigator pane where I could choose to open up the query editor. And I'll select the survey data, which will give me a nice little preview here, showing me the type of data that it's going to allow me to import. And if I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and hit load. If I need to make any additions or changes to it, I can select edit, and that will actually allow me to manipulate the data a little bit before I import it. I'm happy with how this looks, so I'll go ahead and hit load. All right. Now, once this data loads into our model, I do want to show you what the data looks like briefly here. If I go over to the data view, you can see what the data looks like. And what we're seeing in the data here is what the phone is that someone started with. So someone started with an Apple or an HTC, or this is a, a Japanese brand. And then what did they end up going to after that? So they started with an Apple, they went to another Apple. Did they buy another Apple? Or did they swap over to an LG or a Nokia or a Samsung? So this way I can see what they've had, what they went to, and then what the quantity of people were that made the switch. This is completely fake data, so don't uh, assume that this is real data. It's just kind of based off of a survey uh, that I found. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring in an import in the chord diagram by going over to the import section here where I can import a custom visual in the visualizations pane. I'll click import past the warning sign here. And I'll go find the custom visual that we want to use for this example, which again is called the chord. So you'll search for the chord chart that you already downloaded previously, select the chord chart to import it, hit open, and that will bring it into the custom visuals pane or the visuals pane here. So let's go ahead and uh, select that chord visual and I'll make it take up a little bit more design surface. In fact, we'll make it take up the entire T of the screen here. And then I'll select the fields that we want to add to the visual. So I, I'll select, start by selecting the start phone, Let's go ahead and bring on the end phone so you can see the from and the to identified here. And then I'll also check off the quantity. And so that way I should be able to see where people started, where people left. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how you can read this or how you should read this. I'm going to go ahead and make this visual go to the full screen here so we can see it uh, quite large. And let's talk a little bit about what you should get from this. 
Now you'll see there's some area of the circles that don't connect to other areas. So for example here, there's this kind of this egg shape or almost like a camel hump here. That's indicating that users that didn't switch. So these are folks that had Apple, they stayed with Apple. These are folks that had Samsung, stayed with Samsung, didn't leave. And so you can kind of see that all around. Anywhere where there's an area that does not connect to another part of the cord diagram, that indicates someone that didn't switch to another phone brand, they stayed with the one they already had, which is kind of interesting to be able to see here. Now the color of the lines is also significant here. You can see that there's certain areas of the chart. For example, take a look at LG for a moment. LG, you can see there's several, there's several different colors that are going into LG. And what that really represents is that there's a lot of people that are switching off of LG phones. So this section of the chart here represents the folks that are switching from LG to Samsung and Samsung being the more dominant switch. So you can see here that from LG to Samsung, there's 78 users that switched from LG to Samsung. While there was some people that switched from Samsung to LG, that number was lower. And because the number of LG users was lower, the color of the line is predominantly the Samsung color. So it's the darker orange color that you see here. So anywhere where you see a lot of mixed colors, that usually indicates a cell phone brand that often gets switched off of to another brand. Some other things to highlight here, you'll see Samsung's pretty predominant. And then just in this survey data, this fake survey data, it shows that they're more predominant. But you'll also see, of course, Apple is in here very strongly. The thing I'll highlight about Apple is that when you go and actually look at it and you select Apple here, you can click on Apple, you'll notice that no one actually switches off of Apple to another cell phone brand more predominantly. Now, people do switch to other brands. You can see, you can highlight here and you can see that looks like there are people that switch from Apple to Samsung, that's 102 people, but it's more predominantly the other way around. More people switch from Samsung to Apple, 498. And because of that, that color gets highlighted in blue. And you'll notice here in the data, it looks like nobody switches off Apple predominantly. And usually it's people switching off other cell phone providers instead. So that's neat, you can actually select areas of the chart to be able to see that. You can also select areas here. For example, if I select uh, LG here, you have to be kind of careful when you select it, they're like that. You'll see LG, like we mentioned a few moments ago, has a lot of people switching off of LG to other cell phone providers. So very interesting portions of the data here that you can look at and select. You uh, can switch back and forth to different ones if you'd like, or you can just unfilter by selecting the background. All right, a few other things that we might want to play around with this chart, the customizations as far as the formatting we can look at as well. Let's take a look at if we come over here to the paintbrush area. That's where we can change some of the formatting sections of this chart. So I'll select format. And we'll come down to the bottom section here and show you a few of the things you can do. You can, you'll notice down here at the bottom, you can turn on or turn off the labels. So if I want to turn off the labels, you can see it takes off the labels. That shows me the categories of data. You can also change the color of the, the font where it has the label so it's a little easier to read. And you could also increase the text size if you wanted to. So you can kind of play around with that a bit if you chose to. You'll also see that there's this access property here that you can turn on and off. That's actually showing... When you turn that on and off, that actually shows you the indicator of where one area or one category of data ends and begins. So you can see this is from 0 to 1392. You can turn that label on and off if you wanted to. That's really all you can do with that is turn it on and off. You can also play around with the data colors. So if you don't like the data colors that are provided to you by default, you could change them around. For example, if I don't like LG being this yellow color, I could switch it to something more my style, if I wanted to, I could make it more of a gold or a darker color like that if you wanted to. And you could always revert it back to the defaults. If you press, press this revert to defaults, it sends it back to how it was originally. There's also this section on the top of the data colors area where you can change the default color. And if you flip this default color to something else, it'll actually make everything have the same color. And then, of course, you can still highlight the different areas of the chart if you wanted to and see just how that one area, but it does make everything the same color. I'll revert that back to the default. I think it makes sense to have this different colors here. All right, outside of that, some of the other customizations, you can add a border. Some of these things are on every one of the visuals, but I can add a border around the visual. I could uh, change the position of where it appears on the design surface. I could lock the aspect ratio. Not really that effective of a feature to lock the aspect ratio on a circular chart, but uh, you can do it. You can also change the background co color if I wanted to. I could add in a different background here change the transparency, make it more transparent if I wanted to. All that functionality is in here, just like it is on every other chart. In addition to that, you can also change the titles. If I wanted to give a different title, I could also provide a new title up at the top here. Maybe I call it cell phone brand switching. All that is available here as well. So very easy to work with. Interesting way to show relationships between data is the chord diagram or the chord chart. It's a nice way to be able to see how people, in this case, switch cell phone brands very frequently and very often.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to the next module with you.